So it is that time of year again. It is July, and July usually means it's time for a new PR season. Um, this year we're getting PR6, as you guys can tell, because 5 being the last one, we are getting 6 as of this year. Now, this video is going to talk about what could be the possible candidates for PR6. There has been a lot of things going on in regards to this kind of stuff, but we'll go ahead and talk about this video. It's probably going to be a long one, so bear uh, bear with me, guys. It's going to be um, quite a lot of information here. All right. So, anyways, though. This is PR6, and following this trend as of right now, gonna be over here. Um, the possible candidates that I personally want this to be are gonna be cruisers. Now, if we follow this trend, PR2 or PR1, there is no DR ship, so I'm not gonna talk too much about this one in general. This is just like the testing season. PR2, we had a large cruiser, Ozma, and we had a battleship, FDG. Then Drake, we had just, this was a weird season. There's only one UR or DR here. So I guess they were just like giving people free time, but they probably realized like two is probably the way to go. So they did that way. But Drake being a heavy cruiser was the DR of PR3. PR4 was Hakuryu aircraft carrier and E-Girl, which is the large cruiser here. And then we go to PR5, which is going to be double cruisers. Uh, Plymouth being a light cruiser, the first one, I think, yeah, the first actual, like, real, uh, UR care, uh, light cruiser. I'm not gonna count San Diego because it's a retrofit, but it's the first instance of a light carrier being a UR ship, so I'm pretty happy about that. And Brest being a large cruiser, once again, another DR ship. Right, so, PR6, I'm hoping, is going to be more cruisers. The reason why I think it's going to be more cruisers is because I think what Manju wants to do, and this is probably like a really good way of doing it, but it may come with some like kind of drawback, I guess, could more like maybe kind of stale events, but who knows. If you guys haven't realized yet, we've gotten, let's see, one, two, three, four, let me see. Uh, Shinano, New Jersey, Shimakaze, Ulrich, Kronstadt, Vanguard, Musashi, Yorktown 2, Implacable, and Bismarck 2. We have 10 UR events so far, 2 are Vanguard. Now you ask yourself, why is that the case? Personally, I think the reason why is because this backline sells more, does more damage, has more, I guess, fan service, I guess, we'll call it that. But more damage, more MVP, you're going to see them on the screen more often. You'll probably like them more. That's probably why, right? So I think what Manju wants to do is they want to have more backline ships for events for selling purposes. And they should go ahead and do more Vanguard ships for these PR seasons. This makes it so once per, like, per year, it won't be as like... Like it won't be like 99% um, backline ships for that year. It's going to be like a good mixture of it. So like taking what they did from PR5, which was two cruisers, which was for vanguards. They could do the same thing with PR6, honestly. They really, really could. And if I were to go to potential candidates of this, um, of this uh, cruiser, just a lot. So I'm not really a big like wow guy. I do look it up for like ships or whatever, but there could be potential candidates now. Judging by history, basically anyone from um, tier nine and up can be a uh, a DR ship. So even though Ibuki we had in PR one is an is an SSR, Azuma is also a tier nine right here, and she was UR ship. So that's something to keep in mind here. So. I don't think it's going to be a iGen cruiser. It could be, but here's some candidates that you guys can look through. The WoW website, that could possibly be it. I don't think there's any of these, though. Uh, HMS, um, Minotaur. You see, like, Neptune's 9 here. Drake is 9 as well, too, but Drake is UR ship in our version. Neptune is SSR. Kind of weird. Uh, Minotaur, Goliath. Some of these are really interesting names, though, I gotta say. Like, Goliath sounds really cool. I actually would be a big fan of that. We got Plymouth here, Tier 10. Got her last season, or this season currently, so. Very cool. Gibraltar. Some of these, like, these names sound really cool. I'm actually really down for these kind of names that they add them into the game. Really, really down for them. 
um uss we have a lot of like cities salem des moines Worcester, stuff like that and pan asia i don't think we have anything from here i don't think we do yeah it's like a, not a lot of ships but yeah just like not that many of them and as for germany but first a word from our sponsors Today's video is sponsored by the lovely Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. Two companies that want to invite everyone to experience Japan from the comfort of your own home through their astonishing snack boxes. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You will get up to 20 of the latest exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time, like Sakura Pepsi, Japanese sake Kit Kats, ramen, and many more. And Sakura Co. is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box. Sakura Co. is supporting local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional authentic and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. Summer is the perfect time to go to the beach, and this month, Tokyo Treat wants to invite you to explore Japan's sun-kissed paradise that is Okinawa through its snacks like Okinawa Potato Chinsuko. As a taste of sweetness and crunchiness combined, the chilled Hiyashi Ramen. Ikadakimasu. Kamasan Sunbei. Smoky, crunchy. A little bit of sweet. And special Kit Kat cookies and cream. It's like a Kit Kat I've never tasted before. So, so sweet. I'm a big, big fan of the special Kit Kat cookies and cream. It tastes very sweet. Never had a Kit Kat like this before. And I'm usually not a big candy figure, but man, I gotta tell you guys, that Kit Kat rocks my world. It's as if I was in Japan all along, baby. And as for Sakura Co, it is partnered with Nico local government and makers to offer traditional treats and tea reflecting Nico's rich heritage. Enjoy Ino Hikari Senbei. A little bit of a crunch and some saltiness to it as well, too. From Nico Rusk and the 88th Ninth Shincha Tea. Has a warm, soothing feeling to it. Introducing this month's special item, the Patchwork Furoshiki. Furoshiki is a traditional Japanese wrapping cloth. It doubles as a stylish handkerchief, fashionable bandana, or a versatile bento box wrapping. Experience this versatility firsthand. Also, we have something called a kuzukiri snack, which are wet noodles covered in honey, extra delicious, very sweet, and can top it off with any fruits you desire. Did you also know that these boxes are not only great for you, but is also great for family and friends as well? Personally, if someone gave this to me, I would not only love it, but I would just enjoy snacking on these beverages and goods every single day. Very, very comfy eating style for my personal enjoyment. So please check out the link in the description below for not only you, but for your loved ones as well to experience the wonders of the proud country of Japan. In Germany, we have Rune, which is tier 9. See, E-Girl is also tier 9 as well too, but you, uh, DR, PR, stuff like that. There's going to be a lot of choices here. I'm not going to go through all of them and potentially ask or say what it could possibly be. But honestly, I do think that it could be at least one. I'm hoping it's going to be two, but maybe one. Because if they just honestly, if they just do what they did to Plymouth, like and Plymouth is like an actual monster, then I'd be actually really happy. Because if we have more Plymouth tier ships for Vanguards, it can make Vanguards not look as like me me as like a lot of people think because oh bat frontline there's no damage or whatever right 
you'd be like Plymouth that does damage and can do some buffing and utility stuff like that. So it's actually really, really good. So double double Vanguard ships is what I would probably think is probably gonna happen to the upcoming PR season. Now getting on to the fun conversations so if you guys don't already know you go over here um recently in the weekend event that we had in i think anime um anime con or whatever i think it's anime con uh they revealed a ship right here so we go over here a ship now i saw an interesting comment about this ship I think it could be French because if we were to go over here, we were to sort by faction, right? Let's say, um, I don't know, is it Richelieu? Uh, Richelieu, Azure Lane. I think it's the similar faction or something like that. Um, we go over here. Iris, is it Iris or is it like, what's the other one called? It's like Vic. Vichia Dominion? Is it this one? This one right here. Joffrey. They have very similar designs. Like if we were to click on Joffrey right here, right? You see the head design right here? It looks very similar to this girl's right here, right? So it could be another French ship. Very, very interesting. So this post right here was, um, I think everyone has seen it by now. We've gone to anime convention. So new ship here. We don't have this ship in the game. So this could be either a new event or PR6. But we just had a new event, so I'm going to assume it's for PR6. A lot of people are saying it's for PR6, though. Uh, but who knows? Now, the thing about this post, right? If we were to scroll down, all the way down, all the way down. Like someone says, Joffrey, right here, right? Someone made this post right here. Now, again, I will take everything with a grain of salt. But I saw this post right here, right? Saying, like, these Japanese leaks or whatever. And if we were to click this, because I can't read Japanese, someone translated already. We have these ships right here. We have DR, BBV, USS Delaware. We have DR, I think this is an aircraft carrier, a Manfred von Richthofen, a PR, CVL, Pran, I think that's the Chinese faction, a Sanzang, PR, light cruiser, again, um, from the French, Bayard. Now, I think this could be a, uh, a sister of Joffrey. Let's go ahead and double check that. If I were to do, say, uh, Joffrey class carriers, if we were to Google that, right? And we'll come up here. Let's look. Um, we have Joffrey. We have Paneve. Paneve. So I don't see her on here, but maybe it could be something like something else. I'm not exactly sure. But it could be probably be a sister's of her. I'm not exactly sure if that's the case, though. But someone did said. Bayard is going to be the French light cruiser. And then we have another one, um, Northern Parliament, I think. Is it Northern Parliament? RN? Yeah, I think it is. Um, Amalfi or Burns, Burnessy? I'm, I'm just going to say one of those. But someone wrote this down. Not exactly sure how reliable or you want to take this or whatever. So I'll give it some time. But someone did say that. It's very, very interesting. I think this is just translations of this, though, but I have no idea where they got this from because it doesn't exactly say. Um, it's just so it's people, like, assume they were... Wait, this is not even... Is this... It's Japanese. I, I thought it was Chinese for some reason. It's Japanese. <laughs> uh, but someone did write this out. So, again, not going to confirm anything. I'm just saying, like, this could probably be another selection of chips. Now... A lot of these are mixed ships from what someone told me in my Discord. Like, you have aircraft carrier battleships. I think, like, Manfred is, like, a carrier, like a hybrid carrier or something. We have the first light cruiser as, I'm not light cruiser, um, light aircraft carrier as a potential uh, candidate for a PR ship as well, too. It's actually a lot of uh, vanguards here. Now, what was a Mafri? We were to search by, um, Factions. Where's the Russians at? I think it's this one, right? USSR. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I don't see it on here. Give me a bit. Wait, RN's not. Wait, is it? I 
think I'm trolling, guys. I'm pretty... Wait, I thought it was something... Oh, whatever. I don't... Oh, no. RN's Royal Navy. Why couldn't this guy just put HMS? I'm clowning, dude. Jesus. Whatever. Um, I don't know why I thought it was... Uh, what you would call it, though? Uh, nothing here. I don't see a map for here, either. Yeah, I have no idea what that guy wrote. I'm just gonna... Someone in here can write it in the comments or whatever, but... I, don't know, I think last season, like, I think we got in way too much HMS recently, so I don't think they're going to do it, but they could, though. Not exactly sure, but that's the thing, though. So if there's this leaks of PR6 ships, or not leaks, but, like, a, um, um, a sneak peek of the PR6 ship, design-wise, actually not that bad. But, again, it's probably going to be four other more. And we got to find out what that's going to be. So, it's going to be sometime this month, probably, unless they hold it for next month, which I doubt. Usually, they announce this, like, the late or early, uh, the late first week or a second, or like the or late first week, early second week of July. So, probably going to be like in a couple of days from now is when they're going to announce the upcoming season. So... Kind of excited. Um, to me, PR seasons are basically just UR events, but I love seeing new ships that are ultra rare. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do love seeing new ultra rare ships. That's how I've been, um, that's how I've been, I guess, desensitized to because I do find them really, really interesting. More things, um, more ships open to trying out, new more kits to use or whatever. Actually, really excited. And, I'm not going to say the PR grind is great because I really don't like it at all either, even though I can do them. Um, but something to look forward to. Something to look forward to. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching as always. Leave the comments on what you guys want to see from the new PR season. I know some of you guys are still working on your current PR season. So, again, you don't have to finish PR6. There's nothing like super, super game breaking, hopefully. Maybe. Who knows? But don't stress it out. Just work on yours as of right now. And eventually, over time, assuming you're still playing the game, you'll finish it up. I wouldn't worry about it too much. All right. Just don't do free missions. Do the coin ones minimum. And you'll be good to go. So thank you guys for watching. As always, comments about the season. In the, um, comment about the season in the comments. And I'll read them and stuff like that. And yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and link this. Um, the leak stuff. as Well, not the leak. The sneak peek as well, too. In the description. So you guys can check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching as always.